Hi everybody, it's Peter Zarms Green Flix Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. I'm going to continue with my M11 series of videos reviewing the M11. Yeah, and one question that's been coming up quite a bit and I've noticed on YouTube videos is how does the M11 compare to the M10 monochrome? First things first, what sort of setup do we have here? On the M11, you might have noticed it's got a, the optional handle grip that you can get. And now what's so special about this grip? The mount of this grip here can actually fit a standard tripod mount. I thought that was a fantastic invention. So that you've got the actual the grip for your fingers. And then also when you're doing tripod work, you can actually put it straight onto the tripod rather than having to screw something on there. So I just happen to have a new acquisition also. This is a Peak Design tripod. Now what I liked about this was it's just its compact size, fiber, uh, carbon fiber construction. So lightweight again. And, um, and we've got the standard tripod mount there. It's really simple to just put that in and lock it in place. Voila, it's fantastic. Now this tripod also does come with the standard Peak Design mount and uh, so what I've got, I've got the monochrome here and I've put that mount on the base here, just screwed it on. This uh, tripod also comes with the appropriate uh, hex key so that you can attach the base as well and then I can just uh, put that in like that and just lock it in place. That will make it a bit easier when I'm actually comparing the two cameras and I can find a location. I'll do location shots out around Sydney um, during the day, maybe some architecture or something like that. And then also in the evening with lights. One of the reasons why I decided to go for the black version of the M11 was that it's lighter weight. You save about 120, 130 grams. Now, on the other side of the coin, Putting on the handle uh, with its special mount here uh, adds also about 120, 130 grams. So one balances out the other. So effectively, we've got a similar situation now. And uh, we'll be able to compare the weights. So the monochrome with a heavier body. Lenses are much the same in weight. The Sumalux and the uh, Apple are about the same in weight. Okay, we'll put the lens cap on as well, so that it all adds weight. And we've got the mount on there already. And we'll see what weight this comes in at. 1,005 grams. So the M11 with the handle and the lens at 977 grams. So that's about 30 grams lighter. The lenses I'm using on the M11, I will this time use the 35mm Summerlux f1.4 and on the monochrome I'll have 35mm Apple Summicron f2. The two lenses are fantastic and I'm going to have similar details so I'm not too concerned about that. So all we'll be comparing is the sensors and how the black and white is, what sort of things you can see in a practical manner any sort of differences whatsoever. During the video, I'll, I will take similar shots so that I'll be able to, again, as I did in my, one of my last videos, have the two series of photographs shown side by side. On to location and let's take some photographs. Okay, what have we got here? So I'm continuing taking photographs both with the monochrome and also with the Leica M11. So as you know I've got the Summerlux on the M11 and I've got the uh, Apple Summicron on the monochrome. So the settings I'm using, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm shooting the slowest ISO so on the monochrome it's 160 and on the, on the M11 it's 64. Uh, what other things? I'm choosing the same aperture, so in this case here I've got f8 for this shot, and f8 on the, on the M11. 
and uh, what else can I tell you oh yes I'm using auto shutter now in doing so I've also set the uh, exposure to expose two-thirds underexposed so in Lightroom I'll be able to bring up the shadows and I won't burn out the highlights particularly in the shot like this where I've got stuff in the sun I've got stuff in the shadows and I want to be able to bring both up or down and then compare the two all right um, now as far as my mode of transport today it's my trusty bicycle and the to carry all my equipment I've got my on your bag which is perfect uh, good for carrying two cameras and the water bottle, a mask for those situations where I still need a mask. And um, yeah, and I've got my small rig frame here for the iPhone, which I'm filming. Using the ear pods as a way of maybe controlling the sound off camera mic. Let's we'll see how good that is. Every time I come around the uh, harbour, there are harbour noises. You can see in the distance they're making new fish markets around Darling Harbour. And they're driving in pylons right now, hence the background noise. Okay, try and choose some decent, some interesting shots, architecture, whatever I find around the harbour and around Sydney. So hopefully the photographs will be interesting for you. Okay, continuing on. We'll start off with the photographs that I took with the M11. So these are the color shots and they have been edited in Lightroom. So I've brought up the shadows and I've reduced the highlights and balanced it out. At the same time, I was taking photographs with the M10 monochrome. And um, what we'll do is we'll then go and put the images side by side and I've also done an edit or a crop uh, with uh, each of the photographs from the two cameras so that we can see the detail in much more detail and uh, have a look and see what you think um, I have labeled everything so you can see which ones are the M11 and which ones are the M10 monochrome so the color photographs from the M11 have been converted in Lightroom straight into black and white without any further editing. The corresponding monochrome photographs are on the right and the M11 on the left. So look at the detail. Also, I've taken a crop within each one of the photographs, similar crop, so that you can actually see in greater detail what, uh, how the M11 and how the M10 monochrome perform relative to each other what do you think of the detail also the files in the m10 monochrome have been enlarged to 60 megapixels so we're looking at similar detail uh, for the comparison I took some internal shots of my lounge room bookcase uh, with both cameras and the only thing I changed was the ISO rating starting from ISO 800 
and then going right up to its maximum value ISO rating for each camera. So the M11 50,000 ISO and the M10 monochrome at 100,000 ISO. Have a look. What's your view? Uh, is, is the monochrome, the Leica M10 monochrome, that has the greatest detail, or is it the M11 colour made into black and white? Hmm. Welcome your thoughts and I welcome your comments. Anyway, it's the first time to my channel, then please do subscribe, click notifications, and then you'll be notified when the next video is out. And if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up, that helps support the channel, you know. Really appreciate it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you on the next video and thanks again for watching. Cheers, bye. Looks like my channel needs a lot of support. Obviously, I can't repair, I can't afford to repair my t shirt or buy a new one. Anyway, I welcome your support. See you on next. See you on the next video. Cheers.